What's going on guys? It's been a couple days. Engine stands empty. There's the old crankshaft there. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of work. I draw your attention over here. She's in for the most part. We've got the transmission bolted up. Torque converter bolts are in there. Starters in and connected. All the wires that go down and around are in there and connected. I still got to bolt the motor mounts down, but I left those open so I can get those headers in there in case I need to jack up the engine or whatnot. I'm going to try and get the headers in before I do the motor mounts. But yeah, we're, we're rocking and rolling. It's been a couple days. Um, I did that on Friday, I think. So Saturday, I didn't really do a whole lot because it's been raining. You know, I live in Washington, so it's, uh, summer's over. <laughs> been over for a few weeks it's cold and rainy so not able to do a whole lot uh, because my cover tried to blow away and it ripped itself apart so now it's just a frame and that wouldn't do anything anyway so updates will come i'm struggling to find a way to tune this e67 ecm for not a ton of money like hp tuners so that's something i'm struggling with and with this it's, it's another reason why i don't like gen 4 stuff is because it's just kind of a pain in the ass if there is a way to tune these for free then let me know in the comments i would really appreciate it if it works then i'll send you a free t-shirt but as of right now i cannot find anything other than hp tuners and efi live and i don't have those i have access to them i can rent one from a buddy of mine uh but it still costs money to write the tune to the ecm which is it's why 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 I much prefer Gen 3 stuff because it's free. Anyways, that's my dilemma right now. I, I need to make a startup tune, which I've already done with the HP Tuner software. I just don't have a way to put it on the, the PCM or the ECM. So a proper startup tune for a cammed build, especially if you rebuilt the whole thing, new piston rings, all that is essential because you want those piston rings to seat during the first heat cycle. If you start it up with no tune, then it could die. You know, it's sputters and not run on all cylinders and stuff like that. And it's just not good for brand new rings or bearings or any, you know, in new internals. You want it to run smoothly the first time you fire it up. So those rings can seat ideally. Yeah, you know, it doesn't always happen that way, even with the startup tune, but ideally you want it to run smoothly the first time you start it up. That way everything seats correctly and everything's good to go. So that's why I'm stressing this tune thing so much. If any of you have a way to tune this, it's an E67 PCM, which is the GM performance um, PCMs that came on the 08 Trailblazers and a bunch of other things, but I haven't found a free way to do it yet. So anyways, thanks for watching you guys. More updates in a couple of days. Once it stops raining, I'm able to actually work on this thing. So appreciate you. Have a good one.